There's a saying that it's easy to get money, but it's hard to keep. There's also a saying that fast money goes even faster, right? You have to have an exit plan if you're trying to finesse or do anything illegal in terms of fraud. Trust me, guys, I know. Maybe one day I'll share my story with you. But for right now, listen, hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos. Let's get into the clip. Let's run it. Ariel Foster on Instagram was proudly posting about her new Tesla last month, commenting, my biggest flex is being able to buy my own Tesla full out under 20 years old. But it turns out she allegedly bought the $35,000 vehicle with money Burlington police say she stole. Ms. Foster, good morning. The 19-year-old from Dorchester was in court today, accused of stealing more than half a million dollars in a credit card scheme. Prosecutors say Foster was an employee of the LaVissa Jewelry Store at the Burlington Mall, where she allegedly charged higher prices and refunded the difference to her own credit card. A series of transactions were reported, um, three dates in question and uh, on the, the store's ledger. And it appeared that on these dates, an item was scanned onto the register and the item price was altered to heighten the loss. Um, the item would then be refunded onto a credit card. And this process, according to the police report, occurred over um, eight, eight times over the course of three dates. And Foster's transactions at the store were not captured on surveillance. And there's evidence that result that was um, that has been elicited, uh, solicited that the defendant um, tampered with much of the surveillance uh, camera in the store. Foster is a student at LaSalle University in Newton. The police report indicates she's been investigated by university police for using fraudulent credit cards to pay tuition. Leaving court today, Foster did not make any comment, but she told police she took the money to make her mother feel less stressed and make friends and family happy. She stated, I'm sorry for what I did. So then investigators started digging around more and according to prosecutors, they found this happened on even more dates than they originally thought. So what was originally a half a million dollar alleged larceny is now up to more like a million dollars. So guys, you see, this is a young lady track star setting records, 19 years old at LaSalle University in Burlington, Massachusetts. She's a freshman, she's doing big things but like a lot of women, they like to show off. They like to be seen. She's a track star. She has an image to uphold and her vanity happened to get the best of her. It's funny, they just had an article that they put out on her where they were celebrating her accomplishments. And this article was just on February 16th, right? She showed her medals, her picture. She talked about being hardworking even bragging about getting her dream car, which was a Tesla, a red one to be exact, and saying how hard work pays off. The thing about it, guys, when you're getting fast money, you're gonna have haters and you're gonna have eyebrows being raised. But one thing, it's very addictive when you're making fast money in fraud. It's intoxicating. You feel like you can do anything. You feel like you won't get caught. You feel like this is too easy, especially if you got away with it a few times. And in the case of Arielle Foster, she was working at this jewelry store. And I'm gonna say this, guys. And I'm gonna be very direct when I say this. She didn't learn this on her own. Somebody taught her the game and taught her how to do these things. We just have to be honest. She didn't learn this on her own. Maybe someone else who's worked there before, or maybe a fellow employee or a coworker taught her how to do this finesse. This young lady, within a matter of weeks, was able to charge up or charge back, if you will, $547,187. It's over half a million dollars. And now as things are coming in, she's deep within credit card fraud. That's how she's been paying her tuition as well, which she's being investigated. So it's very sad that this goes on, but hey, she made it a little bit too easy. This, this young lady was even tampering with the security cameras. So she's definitely got some information going on. She knows the system at this La Visa jewelry store that she was working at at Burlington Mall. This is not a joke. Altogether, what, that they could track, because they have, they have access, the detectives, when I say they, the detectives have access 
to her bank accounts. So they were looking into these things. Red flags came up. This young lady bought a Tesla in cash. This is a 19 year old college student with just two jobs, not making these are entry level jobs. These aren't like super jobs. She's 19 years old. Bought a Tesla in cash, bragged about it on Instagram and in her article, which is going to cause eyes to be raised. Hotel in Maui, $20,000. Plane tickets to Maui on Delta, $6,000. Louboutin purse, $5,000. Those are just a few things. So she did this within a matter of weeks on just a few transactions, guys. She siphoned the money through eight transactions in three days within a 20 day span that's within three weeks that was from february 2nd to february 22nd and how she got caught she was attempting to do these things after hours with her debit card straight into her bank account and the credit card machine there was a breach so one of the employees had to come in and see what was going on and they found her there on february 2nd and it was very very strange and then on February 22nd, they received another notice where they came in and she was still in there. So there's a lot of stuff going on. There was a million dollars chargeback that she was trying to clear. The finesse that she was trying to do, which she was basically overcharging, overpricing a particular item, for example, and then charging back the difference onto her card. So the last one, a million dollars, what were you planning on leaving the country? Like you just bought a Tesla and you're charging back a million dollars and you don't think anybody's going to find out. There's always a paper trail, beloved. Any of you guys who are doing fraud, there's a paper trail. And the biggest thing is you can get away with it for some time, but once you start being greedy, start showing off and you're making minimum wage and once you get caught, <laughs> you're acting surprised. When she got caught, they asked her about it. The detectives questioned her. She said she kept a gangster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I, I have no clue about this. So they revealed to her, like, we have your bank records. We know everything that she came out and just said, okay, you got me red handed. I was just trying to take care of my mom because she was financially supporting me. I was trying to show off for my friends. I was just trying to keep people happy. And all of this stolen money, I'm feeling underappreciated at the moment. So that is something that a 19 year old would say, definitely in reference to something like this. So she was arrested, they did a search warrant on her house, her dorm, everything, and she was released on a thousand dollar bail. This credit card fraud, this is a federal crime. I would assume with the amount dealing with this, but she was released on a thousand dollars. Her bail was set. She's obviously not gonna be a student there anymore even though she set all these records, she's already been removed on the website from the track team. So, I mean, you lived it up, baby mate. Let this be a lesson to learn for everybody to notice that you can't just go and think that once you're able to finesse something and you get this sloppy using those large amounts of money, thinking that nobody's gonna notice it. It just doesn't work that way. And I know a lot of people are gonna see this story and they're gonna feel sorry for Ariel and say she was just trying to take care of her mom, this, that, and the third. Baby, $35,000 cash, 19 years old, your goal is, because you probably already said it to everyone, I'm gonna own a Tesla before I turn 20. And that's what you did, and look what comes with it. You're gonna have a felony on your record, unless they have some other diversionary plan or something to get you out of this. Restitution, felony on your record, and you're just gonna walk away and that's gonna be that for this white collar crime. Not gonna do any time, but you just ruined your life for this. You don't get to keep the car. You don't get to keep any of these things. But hey, we're young, we're dumb. We've never seen that amount of money in our lives and we make mistakes, but hopefully you learn from this and know that fraud, they're gonna catch you. They are going to catch you. People are watching. People are snitching. There is a paper trail. There are systems that get alerted to what you do. So don't think you're gonna get away with it, guys. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this story and this finesse. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. It helps us support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and listen. 
With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cents. 50. Part two. Bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50.